good time at Cal Expo this weekend with some cold-blooded friends. So Molly is there now basking Ooh. under a heat lamp. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you my. know, I'm always a little bit happier when I'm holding a snake, you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is She's a so cool. ball python. Nope. Isn't she cool? Isn't yes. she beautiful? Nope. So she is just one of hundreds of reptiles you can meet at the uh, Sacramento Reptile Show here at Cal Expo. Uh, this is Russ. He is with the Phoenix Herpetological Sanctuary, the largest saint reptile sanctuary in the United States. You guys traveled all the way from Arizona for this. Yeah, we came from Scottsdale. It takes us about 16 hours to get here. Well, welcome. Uh, you guys brought a ton of different animals. We are currently in your petting zoo, though. So we've got our bell python. And then over here, we have <clears throat> Baby, and she is truly your baby. Oh, Tell yeah. us about her. Yeah, well, it, you know, if you'll notice, she's taped, and we're required to do that by law, but she doesn't bite. I actually swim with her, and there's no tape. She's, she <laughs> loves interaction with people. So she walks around the classroom and at schools and in Arizona because she does no head butting, no tail whipping. Yeah. So she does a great job. And you said she likes to be scratched behind her ears a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, baby likes that. <laughs> she's so cool. Uh, she's actually a little bit, I mean, she's scaly, of course. She's a little softer than I expected. Yeah, well, you, you, the only hard scales are the ones that are on top. On the side, if you feel it, that's just skin. This is her armor, so if she ever gets in a fight, this keeps it from, go, you know, her getting um, hurt. But if you notice, they also weigh more than the rest of it. So the rest of her doesn't have a baby. <laughs> Baby's <laughs> getting out, you guys. <laughs> Look, she's smiling for the camera and everything. People must just have a trip when they see her and get to pet her and interact with her. Oh, there Every she once in a while, she goes walkabout on us. You know, so. but, she's uh, loose. Look at her go. Oh, yeah. How fun. I mean, people just must have so much fun watching her and interacting. There she goes. Yeah, well, she'll actually walk over to the trailer and climb underneath because uh, she's used to traveling. That's where her box is. Okay. So she'll climb in her box and go to sleep. So she's uh, headed over there now with that. She's warmed up a little bit. But, wow. Uh, she's just a, a very good ambassador. I mean, where are you going to go over and pet a yeah. six and a half foot alligator and not be called Lefty? Absolutely. I was going to say, Russ, should I take this personally? She just no, left. No. But you know what? That ground, no, she know. just kind of splashed. Yeah. It kind of looks, sounds cool, huh? What it boiled down to, she <laughs> said I wasn't getting enough camera time. So she's getting out there where she's a little bit more visual. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, we'll let baby do her thing over there. We also have Touche over here. You're saying Touche is anywhere from about 70 to 100 years old? Yeah, he's 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 a, a fairly um, old a male. These guys live about 150 years, and um, um, this is one of our bigger males. But he's uh, he'll be in the pen all day long, and I mean you'll you'll see kids they they'll, won't even pay attention. They'll sit down on him. He'll get up and walk away with them. <laughs> Uh, and that's how strong these things are. And so. talk about this. I've never seen this in yeah, front uh, of him right there. That one here is called the gular scoot. And the males uh, when they get very dominant. They'll use that to actually push other males away. And I've actually seen them flip other males over just for the breeding rights. Whether there's a female there or not, you know, it's just one of those, you know, the last call at the cowboy saloon and there's only one gal left and 12 cowboys. This is so cool. And you guys, just this whole time, I don't know if you forgot, I just have this ball python wrapped around my arm too. I am having so much fun here today. I mean, this must just be such a treat for people. And we learned a lot too, Russ. Oh yeah, well, we're, you know, we're an educational zoo in Sanctuary. And then right now she's falling in love with you because you're a nice hot 98.6. It's a little bit cool in here. So if you notice, she hasn't moved since she's wrapped around your arm and she's actually absorbing heat from you. Hey, you happy there? Oh, yeah. Can I just take you with me? There you go. <laughs> okay, so if you wow. guys want to come out and meet, I don't know, does she have a name? I, this one I don't know. About Not a name. Darling, I love yeah. your bracelet. You guys, they have more than a crocodile. thousand okay. animals. Yeah. You can come meet a uh, pretty lady here or Touche oh. or maybe try to track Molly. down Baby. But it's all happening today and tomorrow. Yes, Tina? First off, how much does Baby weigh? How much does baby weigh? She only weighs about 110 pounds. Oh, oh wow. Wow. okay. Are she's any a, of she's these? A slim girl. Yeah, do they have any like little baby uh, animals, you know, like bearded dragons for sale, or is this just for show only? Do you have any animals that are for sale today, or is this just we for show? We have some adoption pets, and we do have some animals that are for sale. Uh, I actually see right yep. behind yes, you guys, yep. right there, there's, there's a red tailed boa for yes, sale. You yes, could adopt yes, it. Yeah. Oh, Dude, that's pretty good. You, we're going to keep you for the snake ideas, I'm telling you. Well, yeah. it says, it says oh, right there. Okay, it no. says, oh, oh, oh. He's, he's looking for some warmth, Molly. No, we do have some animals that uh, have come from our sanctuary that are placeable animals. 
and so they'll be adopted out if anybody's interested in doing that. We Wonderful. try to get them healthy and, and get them ready. So we spend most of our time with these uh, animals there, you know, a year or so, just making sure that they're going out and healthy and not having any problems. Very cool. Thanks, well, I might Molly. have to come back after the show and spend more she time. Really, Thanks, guys. Really is clinging to Molly's arm. Wow, wow. She loves Molly. She likes that, uh, that warmth. Ooh.